We're talking about things that dad should model for their children. What should they see in you as their dad? What kind of life are you living? And having this conversation with us is the one, the only, Willie Kinyash. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Willie, you know you've never told me. Are you a dad? Yes, I am. Uh, you keep I'm mentioning wife. <laughs> wife to Namjua Sana. I'm a dad of uh, two lovely girls. Ah, okay. okay one is okay. called Ruhama Wendo, mm -hmm. and the other one is Rehema Wendy. Oh. Yes. Mr. So you're also creative. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I think that's really nice. Yes. Those are beautiful names. Yes. They were very intentional and purpose. Very intentional. Wendo is love. Yes. Wendy is will. Yes. Rehema is mercy. Yes. Ruhama is loved, means loved by God. Oh, wow. Sawa, Baba Wendo. Wendo, Wendo Baba Wendo. Love. Yes. Yes. We are talking about things that dad should model for their kids, the yes. things that we should see. And sometimes it's not... We don't always see the good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll grow up in a place where unashanga, do I even have a dad? And some are trying. Mm -hmm. But then what are some of the things that fathers, dad should be able to be like, show and be... Nikiulizo nasema, baba yangu. Yes. Alisema, yes. alifanya, mm. nilikuwa mm. naona. Yes. What are some of those things? Um, this is one topic I really love handling. I, I normally do uh, premarital counseling. And this is one of the topic we always handle in those classes. Yes. And uh, allow me to start by saying that as we model or we want to be role model to our children, we must strike balance. Okay. There must be balance. Whatever we are doing, we need to have a balance. Because at times, especially with the 21st century parents, there is a way we were brought up us with a lot of problems and struggles and hardships that now we want to show a lot of love to our children to a point we are spoiling them okay. and so we must uh, have a balance as we become good role models to our children as we become good uh, examples to our children we must have that balance of love and we have a uh, limits that uh, we need to show them i can provide for you anything you want but sometimes before i provide i'll i'll give you some break you don't just ask and right there you have it yeah. you see because the moment we do that we are training these children every time she or he needs something automatically yeah. then he gets of age he becomes of age and when he goes out there the world. and the world is harsh they start uh, entering into depression because the way they have been raised they know nikiitisha kitu hapo hapo but now the world is opposite right opposite you go out there you ask for something you're told work for it if you want to have this work for it and that is not the kind of lifestyle they are used to mm. and so in a way we must have balance okay and as we talk about role models i must say this the number one model to your children should be the father okay and so the father is the most powerful role model every kid should have and so before they come and start saying willi kinyashi is my role model <laughs> and the other people out there they need to start seeing their father before but again, obama yes before you start saying obama before yes. you start saying this and that they should see you but there are some things we need to do so that now we can become good role models. Number one, one, we must walk the talk. Okay. Children are very good. They don't do what we ask them to do, but they do what, what they see do. us yes. do. Yes. So don't tell him smoking is bad and, and taking some uh, bitter uh, drinks no. yes. is bad. And dawa. you yourself, you're taking. They will do that which they see you do. Mm. They are very good. Somebody said that children are good. They, they, they memorize uh, scriptures, but as adults, we memorize troubles. Allah. And so we should memorize good things. Yes. And so we should walk the talk. Whatever you are asking your kid to do, can you be there? Number one, you are the one who is doing them. Don't tell them to go to church and you on Sunday wanna kuwacha hapo una watch hangover. Go with them. Walk the talk. Okay. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Before you say it, mm -hmm. they are reading. 
you know, they say action speaks better than words. Mm. And so what kind of action are you taking as a father? Okay. You want this guy to be a role model. You want this young girl to be your role model. This boy to be your, your role model. But what are you doing? Are you spending nights at clubs and you come in the morning? Because if that is what you're doing, that is what your son is learning. Yeah. That uh, men, ukiwawa, you're supposed to go out and cup in the morning. Mm. So mm. what kind of example are you setting to your boys? Number two is love. Ah. Love. We must show love to our children. When we show them love, we are showing them or we are telling them it is okay to be emotional. You know, there's this notion that uh, we have that uh, boys should not cry. Kangumo. Mm. Mm. So you enter into a room, a girl, and anguka chini, and everybody is like, oh, mami pole, mami pole. Oh, meka hivi. Kaboy kanguke, you try to cry, we, we, wanaume hali yangi. Kangumu. It's such a sad so state of So what are you telling yeah. them? That they should not show emotions. Mm. And so when they grow up, they get married, they can't show emotions to, to, to their wives. Mm. And so as fathers, we must show love to our children. When we show them love, we are telling them it is okay to show emotions. It is okay to be emotional. It is okay to be a man. And so we need and we must show love to our children. Before they go out there and be shown love by other men out there, we should be the first people showing them love. Mm. As fathers, we need to show love to our girls. Mm. Before they go out there and some men, they start telling them, I love you. Mm. Because when you show love to that girl, you can be sure when that man goes out there and answer kumwambia siju I love you, this girl knows my daddy loves me. But I my... know what kind of love, what love really is, and this is this is not love, whatever you say. And now, mm. when I talk about showing them love, we, we, we actually this should bring us to the third thing that is uh, spending time with our children. Okay. Because you cannot love them and yes. yet you don't spend time with them. And psychologists will say they have nine. Uh, minutes which are very important in every child's life. Nine minutes. Nine minutes Gun every day. The first three when you wake up in the morning. Okay. The first three minutes when they wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. be there and speak positive things to them. The, 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 the other three minutes when they come back home or when you come back home, okay. the first three minutes, they are very important. Asking them, how was your day? How is the going? You see? And the last three minutes, when they are going to sleep, okay. speak to them. Three minutes, so nine minutes, which are very important in every child's life. And so as fathers, we need to have these nine minutes. So maybe you can say, I don't have that one hour. I don't have 10 hours. But, but at least minutes. you can have nine minutes every morning when you wake up, go and talk to them. Do not allow your, 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 your house girl is the one who is taking the first three minutes to speak to your kids mm. and uh, she's complaining to them. Where na shinda hapa nikikuita na hawamiki? Where sijui nini? You see? So be there. Yes. Go, wake up, go there. Maybe some sometimes you might find maybe you go early, early. you are not able. Mm. But at least when you come back, make sure that you have time with them. Before they go to sleep, make sure that you have time with them. And so we need to spend time with our children. Sometimes because we don't we say number two is showing them love mm. and you are saying that the kind of love that will be shown out there is not the same. But now you see when you spend time with them, you'll be able even to have uh, an open conversation with them. You can even start talking with them about the issues concerning relationships. Mm. As early as four years, it is okay to start talking to your girls about relationships. Four years? Yes. Okay. They need to know as early at that age because sometimes we shy away we don't want to talk to them and so when they go out there they'll be taught some things that you are going to regret later so we can spend time with our children we should not be strangers mm. to, to our, our children, children. That Na nine minutes uh, you know nine minutes ni, ni nine minutes yes kidogo sana Ata si ten. nine Ata tujafika ten. yes kama um umeko ki follow e conversation please send in your feedback what kind of relationship do you have with your dad right now would you say that he's your role model what are some of the things that you learned as a man from your dad that you're carrying on um 
in your relationship, in your marriage right now. Triple four, triple one, triple, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. It's just going to cost you a shilling for you to send in that SMS. We'll be looking into all of your questions when we come back with Willie Kinyash after this break. Welcome back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Rikali. We're talking about uh, the things that dads should model for their kids. What are some of the things that your dad modeled for you? What are some of your experiences with your father? Would you say he is your role model? Are you taking the lessons that you learned from him into your relationship, your life, your marriage right now? Share that with us, triple one, triple four, triple one, and we'll be looking into that. And some of the things that we've already established is uh, walk the talk. Yes. Everything you do, they're watching, they will do it, and they do not take in a lot of what you say, but what you do. Love them, mm. spend time with them. Yes. And number four, your attitude. Okay. Negativity breeds negativity. Positivity breeds positivity. And so, even in difficult moments, yes. you should always be positive. You should not start crying before your children, even when things are hard. Mm. Yeah, they are saying that earth is hard. Earth is hard. Earth is hard, hard. <laughs> you must be positive. <laughs> you know, when you go out there to other men, yes. you can start maybe speaking some of these negative things. Yes. But as long as your kids are there, you must remain positive. Okay. Even when nothing seems to work, you must remain positive. When you do that, there is something you are training them. That sisi how to do kushindwa ni nini. Yes. But the moment you start crying in front of them, my friend, watalia vizuri kukuliko, they can be good in crying than you. And yeah. so we must remain positive at all times. When you lose your job, you must remain positive. When you don't have that school fees, you must remain Post positive. Fees. Even that time they come with that canoe that they should not go to school tomorrow. You must remain positive, positive. and tell them, no, it is okay. You will go to school. So do not start uh, crying there and telling, oh, it's just about to mutafanya nini. Mutafanya nini. You don't do that. Yes. You need to be a good role model to them mm. by breeding positivity, by thinking positivity, by being positive. And no given time you should never be negative always be positive you see and the other thing is forgiveness ah okay you know uh and 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 i want to start by when when you talk about forgiveness mm -hmm. it is uh, both from your kids and you when they do something wrong can you forgive them mm -hmm. and when you forgive them do you really mean it Okay. Because there are some men who will forgive their kids. Alivuja TV. Ama aligonga gari yake na But umpira. But akikuja meanguka mtiani. Unamukumbusha yes. kwenye TV alivunja. Wewe hata diyo maana unaguka. <laughs> eh? Kazi yako ni kucheza huku hata ulivuja TV. So when you forgive, yes. forgive and forget. Yes. So are you able to forgive them? Because when you forgive them, you are training them. That when even teachers out there, when the people out there, they do something wrong to them, it is possible to forgive. Because this is something I have learned from my mother, uh, father. Mm -hmm. That there are times I have wronged him and he has forgiven me. Mm -hmm. There are times I have done something wrong. There are times I have seen my sister do something wrong mm -hmm. and my father forgive her. Mm -hmm. And so there is something they are learning from you. Okay. And then now we come to the other side. When you... As a father, father, you wrong them. Do you seek for, for forgiveness. forgiveness from them? Yes. Do you tell them, I am sorry? Ah. I am the man. That's Give a rare occurrence, especially during our time. I think things have changed now. I, I, well, I think so. Yes. But it was it was rare for a parent to be like, I am sorry. Yes, it, it was rare. It was very rare. And you see... Mlikuwa muna songanga ni kama hakuna kitu imehappen. Wewe unajuanga tu uko, right? Yes. And now you see, as you're saying, it used to be rare. Yes. You see, this is something mm -hmm. we picked up yes. from our parents. Yeah. And so, as you're saying that today it is not the case, there are people who are still there. 
because this is something they picked up from their fathers mm, mm. mimi sijawahi sikia baba yangu akisema pole mimi ni nani niseme pole so you're not saying pole but you na umekosea mm. wewe ndio umekosea but you don't want to say that i am sorry so you can say mm. when when you wrong their mother yes do you ask the mother i am do you tell the mother i am sorry mm -hmm. because they are listening remember we said we need to walk the talk yes you see and so they are watching you if they don't see you asking their mother for forgiveness mm -hmm. they are learning so what are you training them what kind of a model are you becoming mm. if you can't say i am sorry to their mother and they are watching and they love their mother yeah. you see so forgiveness is very key and we must model this to our kids if you want to see them become responsible people we must model forgiveness into their lives when the world there becomes harsh they can forgive people out there easily because this is something they have picked from their parents okay and the next thing yes is protection okay in our days sijui wewe but in our days ukikuwa tunaenda shule unasikia tunaambiana baba yangu anaweza chapa baba yako they believe that hakuna mtu yeyote duniani anaweza chapa baba yake hakuna hakuna yeyote and so these kids they are looking up to you when it comes to protection and so are you showing protection to your kids and there is something i always tell people yes. even when your kids wamefanya kitu mbaya huko nje you don't go and you gang up with people out there and you start beating, beating your, your child no you need to protect him you need to protect her but now when you go home naambia <laughs> kuja hapa vietnam yes <laughs> but you don't go out there and gang, gang up with people mchape mm -hmm. mtoto wako mm -hmm. you need to show them protection isn't that a contradiction of how we grew up yenye ulikuwa unakutana na mama njeri kwa kona huko anakuambia anakuchuna tutaonana nimekupata ukifanya tabia mbaya mm -hmm. eh, unapura maembe ya wenyewe anakudiscipline hapo kabla enda akakuseme let me say this mm -hmm. there's kitambo and people need to understand there's yes. difference between punishment and discipline okay at times we think we are disciplining our children but we are punishing them okay when you are disciplining your child you must make sure that the, that this child knows why you are doing that ninakuchuna kwa sababu ya hii na hii na hii unaona and so it is you can do that so we need to differentiate between punishment and, and discipline, discipline. When it comes to discipline unamtengeneza and so when you discipline this girl or this boy hata kuchukia utamchuna alie after three minutes he will come running to you mm. because hata yeye anajua you see you make sure that you are telling this kid i don't hate you i love you and that's why i am doing whatever i am doing mm -hmm. there is something wrong i want to remove from you mm -hmm. but before to talk about we were talking about protection yes. and so we must protect our children yes we are the as the men we are supposed to protect our families when people rise against us we need to be there and protect our families mm -hmm. we, and, and 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 also protection we can also talk about the issues of security yes mlango inaongwa usiku unaambia mama kama huwa kaangalia ni nani hao you are supposed to stand as a man yes. and offer protection offer security to your family mm -hmm. go there when these kids grow up they will know as a man i am supposed to protect my family i am supposed to protect my kids yes. you see but when we don't do this we now that's when now we bring a contradiction mm -hmm. that when these boys grow up mm -hmm. they are not sure what they are supposed to do because they they didn't see that yeah mlango ilikuwa inabishwa anajua ni mama yao anaenda kuangalia mzee ako chini ya kitanda <laughs> we must rise up as men and protect our, our families children. and mm -hmm. when you do that mm -hmm. we are teaching our children something which is very very important Willy Leo. Mm -hmm. did you start off this conversation saying this is one of the conversations <laughs> i love undisputed yeah. undisputed we have a bit of feedback here mm -hmm. um hello mikali ni glory from bamburi show iko too sour good vibes and encouragement early in the morning na appreciate sana um mikali na kijasha bari asubuhi 
Mzuri kabisa. Um, mine is a bit uh, sad because my dad wakes up every day to remind me how much he wants to kill himself. But sin in life. Nkada from Nairobi. It's it's sad. Mm, very. It's sad because we have talked about the 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 nine important minutes. Yes. For every child. Yeah. And so when and we as we have also talked about uh, the positivity and negativity. Yeah. And you see, this is something negative. Mm. And so as a parent, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you tell your child is how you're going to kill yourself. This you are feeding him or her with wrong information because that you can be sure that child that day will not be okay That's for true. him or her That's because true. atenda kijuuliza kwa ni baba yangu anajua ni nini imefanyika and now that is a negativity breeding negativity yeah. and so this child will not be fully uh, production he will not be able to be to focus that day yes that day you're, you're bringing in confusion. Mm. You see, mm -hmm. this child cannot be able to concentrate. And so this, this girl or this boy will go to class, but ako tu hapo tu. Ata mwalimu wako pale hakuna kitu anasikia. Because at the back of uh, his or her mind, anasikia, nataka kujiwa. Nataka kujiwa. Baba yangu nataka kujiwa. You Maybe see? Nkada can try and get help if he's willing yes, to yes. go get some help. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very important. Yeah. Need to see a counselor, yeah, uh, so that you can, you can, you can speak out some of these things. And in Nairobi, and, and to put your number in it, to reach just in case. Yes, you can call uh, zero uh, seven three one seven two seven five seven six. Okay. Zero seven three one seven two seven five. Seven, six. Kada, let's mm. see if you can get dad to get help. Yes. Maybe there's something s bigger yes, going yes, on yes, as well. Yes. Um, hi. Ata, see, I, ca I can't imagine. Leo, mtoto wangu akienda shuli alisema, mimi si mpendi daddy. Why? Yeah, maybe we need to. I, and sometimes, sometimes, let me just, I, I don't know. Sometimes, me remember, Nikiwa punished probably because staki kuenda shule, mm. ama nataka, nina sumbua sumbua hapo asubui and I'm mm. leaving. Mm. And mom is always like doting and loving. Yes. And dad is stern and saying mm. you have to go to school. Mm. Na nikoko kindagaten. You know, like it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't really, I don't think it really means. Yes. Maybe yes. you can tell us more about uh, yeah that and that's why that's why i've asked why yes because we yes. need to know why why is it mm. maybe mm. dad is speaking negative words mm. to this guy is it maybe uh he don't have time for them mm. Mm. because this mm. can make mm. make this girl to hate the daddy yeah because my dad ananga time na sisi yeah you see okay. so why okay. Why? Yes. Please get back to us with that if you can. Um, hi, we call Ina Willie Kinyash. Ijina Kinyash, by the My question is, what if your dad passed a long time ago, kiwam to imdogo, and so the mother takes control? What is she supposed to do? Because Mimi is a father figure in my life. Yeah, I, 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 I get you. And uh, I think it is responsibility of the mother uh, to bring in someone who is responsible and who can be able to to uh, to be a, fa a father figure to this kid because the mother has brothers and uh, cousins and so she can look for one man who is mm -hmm. responsible mm -hmm. a man who has a good reputation be because again you don't just bring Anyone. any man mm -hmm. because there are some men you can bring in into life of your kid and right there his or her life is spoiled yeah. so uh, someone who have a good reputation okay. you can come and introduce uh this uh this man to this uh child and they can be able to work together yeah. this uncle can work with this child mm -hmm. and uh, through that he'll be able uh, to nurture this child and now this ch this child would have the, the the father figure so it is okay for uh the mother to look for a person who has a good reputation to walk uh, the journey with, of yes. being the father figure yes, yes. into her life. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in fear of my dad 
and not for any reason but he was strict so when i grew up i came to understand and we had a good relationship i thank god the man i'm married to he speaks positive things about the kids who are yet to come mm -hmm. i believe they will be proud of him as i am proud of my dad and there's also that confusion or misunderstanding where mm -hmm. dad is stern dad is straightforward dad is mm -hmm. Anataka, anakutakia mazuri. But yes. when we are young, I'm at kwa mm, adolescent mm, age. Yes, yes. We don't see it mm, that way. Mm. So you're constantly angry. Mm. Pendi, animkatia, animkatia, yeah, animkatia. Animkatia. You see, the, the, we talked about uh, showing love to your children. And you see, at times, the reason why sometimes you'll find some kids who say, Baba yangu. Nimzi, nimzi, yeah, akukatia, nimtiaji, <laughs> nimbaya. One, yeah. because maybe you you want you. Of of course, every every parent wants uh, good things to happen to their children, and so as you as you as you coming out to give them discipline, mm -hmm. I say that it is okay to let them know why you are doing that. What you're doing. So when you are telling them. Sitaki ni kuone mukitembea na nani na nani, mm. muambie ni sababu gani. Yes. Unajua, yeah. usiseme tu, na kutoka leo sitaki kukuona na mwikali. Ah, ni kuone. Yes. Ni, muambie kuja hapa. Mm -hmm. Mimi sitaki kukuona na mwikali kwa sababu ya one, one two, two, three. three. Mm -hmm. But when you just say, sitaki kukuona, and you stop right there, of course, ataona huu ni mtumbaya sana. It doesn't make sense to and me. And so, uh, it is okay to allow our children to come and we reason together. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So, do not just be there and be strict. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, don't, uh, you don't allow your kids to come and talk to you. Yes. And so, they, they fear you. That yeah. when you say something, even when it is something they are feeling it is not right, they, they can't... can't they can't ask questions. Yes. Why are you doing this, that? Things have changed now. I see kids yes, asking questions. Yes, but we'll call na patiwa macho back in the day. Yes, back in the day. Unaji, unaji, jibia, and, unaji. And that's why now we are speaking to today's to parents. today's parents, yeah. yes. So it I is okay it's, to give your kids mm, time to mm, express themselves. Okay. Because the moment we fail to do that, yes. even when they go to school, yes. they can't even express themselves to teachers. That is so So true. a teacher will come, ana mfinyilia but has you here kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo amnyesho nyumbani tuna dakika moja wili tuko na dakika moja moja dakika i'll try go through these sms as fast as i can hello mikali my dad always told me to love and respect my future husband and it's really working for sure cuz fights are really not our portion it's perpetual from kasarani those are the positive conversations we were talking about mm. earlier hi mikali this is a very great topic i wish people especially these days will understand the, the importance of having a personal dad not dad wa everybody it makes um, Especially ladies have a confidence even to love. I tell you, I have I have and I'm still struggling. I wish my dad was there. I feel he failed me big time, making me take his place as I had to sacrifice my life for other siblings. Only God can help. And maybe with this SMS, you can give us your parting shots. Uh, Ukim Jibo. Yes. Um, let me start by saying that as men and as fathers, we also need to have good manners. When we have good manners, we are showing our kids how to live a good life out there. And when I talk about good manners, when you're talking about women mm. as a man, what do you say? Yes. Do you say that wanawake hawana akili, wanawake what kind of words do you Amazing. use when you're talking about women? Mm -hmm. When you're talking to their mother, mm -hmm. what kind of words do you use? Okay. We need to have manners and choose words Wise. that we speak when our children are around. Okay. Because they are learning from us. Absolutely. We need to be good dads. Great. Yes. That number one last time Yes. You can, social media. Yes. You can reach me through uh, 073172. 7576 mm -hmm. 0731 Asante sana. Social media, Willy Kinyash. Okay. Yes. We are going to take a quick commercial break right now to pay our bills. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.